Hello, I am Latrice Miles. I would like to thank the Soul Systems for this opportunity to speak on behalf of my company, Lockheed Martin, to share our journey in digital transformation as it relates to model-based system engineering in an integrated digital environment. Lockheed Martin consists of aeronautics, such as F-35, C-130, Advanced Development Program Skunk Works, Missile and Fire Control, Rotary and Mission Systems as it relates to helicopters, naval ships and upgrades, and space as it relates to GPS and satellites. Lockheed Martin is located in 46 states and 54 countries and territories, which equates to over 375 facilities globally. These are the Department of Defense Digital Engineering Strategy Goals. The model-based workflow for conceptual design I will present today will not only address these goals, but advance them showing a digital thread deep dive between two digital connected engineering disciplines. This is a government customer perspective on the state of the art model-based system engineering system model. This system model shows the ability to use model-based system engineering mythologies to create architecture structure, requirement diagrams, functional logical and sometimes physical models connected to external analysis tools. This also shows the data exchange with the other engineering disciplines. At Lockheed Martin, we are expanding the boundaries of the system model to provide a comprehensive authoritative source of truth. We are creating a digital thread by integrating the system models using the Cameo software with the conceptual design designer engineer using the CATIA uh, models. And this means that the system engineer and the conceptual design engineer are collaborating within the same digital environment with the ability to integrate other proven, proven proprietary tools. We are eliminating silos and made aware of immediate impact of change. The blue box, as you see here, represents Lockheed Martin's authoritative source of truth. The workflow that I'll be speaking to today is located on the left side. The software tools that we're using from the social systems are addressed going across the top. This is where our customer in the first process, we're having uh, the customer upload, uploads a physical, uh, uploads a model, reference documents and statement of work. The program manager or contract manager stores and release that model within the 3DX platform. This is the customer information, and it's gonna be archived within the 3DX platform, ensuring that what comes from the customer stays in its original form. This allows all of those assigned to this, to this project to work and to have only one source of reference to find the original government furnished information that was provided by the customer. The next step is the program governance and model prep. This is where your program manager creates a collaborative space, assign users to program or, or the project, etc. The also, this is where the teamwork cloud administrator or owner sets the package level permissions and models, create additional containment structure for the vendor model within the Cameo software tool. Teamwork Cloud provides the collaboration and change management for the Cameo software tool. What I just stated before in the last slide is steps that we took. This is actually pictures. If we were live, you would be able to see within the 3DX platform, the project bookmarks within the 3DX uh, platform. And then of course in Cameo, the teamwork administrator project setup and then the teamwork packaging level permissions being set by the administrator. And
The next process or step we have here will be the requirements management and analysis. This is where your requirement engineer reviews the style and other formal requirements from, from the customer. The requirements can come in the uh, formal in the formal forms such as Excel, Doors, or Microsoft Word, which can be received by the 3DX platform via Microsoft Requirement Capture plugin. The requirement engineer then pushes those requirements from Cameo to the 3DX platform via the Cameo Data Hub plugin. The requirement engineer will now perform the requirement analysis of the customer requirements and then derive the 3DX parameters of those requirements, establishing the requirement specification structure, defining the verification methods for those customer requirements. The requirements engineer also conducts a requirement simulation where they're validating the requirements using the stimulus software. The requirements engineer formally releases that customer requirement specification within the 3DX platform in order to establish a formal baseline. What I just stated in the last slide, this is the visual of those within the software tools. The requirements being pushed from Cameo to 3DX. Uh, the 3DX, uh, which is known, the app in there is known as TRM. And this is where you have the de decomposition and parameter settings in the baseline of, of the spec specification. And then, of course, you have the requirement, uh, the stimulus software that does requirement validation uh, within that stimulus tool that takes requirements to be consistent with no conflicts. The next process step here will be architecture 3D modeling and analysis prep. The conceptual design engineer creates a parametric CATIA model and set it up for simulation. The system engineer syncs the requirements from TRM to Cameo, creating a high level solution architecture. They also begin to create a context, uh, a context diagram or a block diagram with, uh, with a data exchange between the systems. They also create an IBD, the inner workings of, a, of the system of interest they capture the behavior and functionality of the system of interest using either an activity, parametric, or sequence diagram approach. The system engineer then also begins to create a traceability scope using the TRA app within 3DX. This, this traceability scope will, will be between requirements, analysis, CATIA, which is showing the physical model, and then Cameo, which will, show, which will show the conceptual models that we've built on above. The TR enables the entire team to use those, to use these, uh, to see these relationships between all of those um, in these that I just described. These are the customer requirements flowing down to Cameo to feed their conceptual models in the CATIA physical model, as you see here. This ensures that they both reference the same requirements and parameters. Again, no more silos between engineering disciplines. They both work from the same reference. In this workflow example, these are the, re the customer requirements that we've been shared between the system engineer and the conceptual design engineer. Again, we're, we're using a TRA which is the Traceability Requirement Analysis app. And this app allows us to readily visualize and analyze relationships between architecture, geometry, analysis, and of course, requirements. This also shows one to see uh, the impact of change by selecting an element and seeing how it, how it comes through the digital thread. If one element changes, the impact can be assessed upstream and downstream, as you see here. The next step in this process is MDAO or formal trade studies. MDAO stands for multidisciplinary analysis and optimization. 
MDAO means to take multitude of different analysis tools to assess the system of, of interest. The conceptual design engineer does iterations on their CATIA model going from conceptual model to an actual physical model using their analysis and proprietary tools. The system engineer creates a more detailed architecture from the shared information of the CATIA design that came from the process composer and pushed out from the 3DX Connect app back to the Cameo models. The system engineer will continue to iterate with the MDAO team until the optimized design has been captured in a functional model or models displaying the behavior of the system of interest. That behavior model will then be simulated by the process composer app. The, executive, the executing activity diagram that I described before on the last slide that the system engineer creates the same here. And what they're doing there is this activity diagram is now passing parameters to the process composer app and then initiates the simulation process. The process composer simulation process references those parameters, modifies uh, the CATIA model in order to perform the analysis, leveraging the Excel and other tools to return the output back to Cameo. The conceptual designer then aggregates those results into an output format. The system engineer links those results into the project bookmarks we spoke of earlier and update that traceability scope within the TRA app. The system engineer also aggregates links into the Cameo model and then begin to create a team review within the 3DX platform with all the content that they have uh, created together. This, sets, this set of processes iterates until the optimal design is achieved from comments being addressed from the review. The customer then logs into that vendor system download the response model and download the package and linked artifacts that were created between the system engineer and the conceptual designer. As you can see, all of these tools support model based system, system engineering across the system engineering V. This integrated digital environment is a powerful step forward in our journey of a digital transformation at Lockheed Martin. Thank you.